Hi guys, my name is Ariana Zubia, and this is my presentation on the movie The Freedom Riders. To sum up the movie, it is based upon a true story. A dedicated teacher who is played by Hilary Swank is in a racially divided Los Angeles school who has a class of at-risk teenagers deemed incapable of learning. Instead of giving up, she inspires her students of Classroom 203 to take an interest in their education and planning their future. She assigns reading material that relates to their lives and encourages them all to keep journals. Did you know the actor who played Grant Rice, who is Armin Jones, was killed at the age of 18, only two months after the movie released? So keep in mind that the cast members of the film did meet the real Miss Gruel and the rest of the class of 203, and this is what Miss Gruel had to say after hearing about the shooting. She said the shooting death of Mr. Jones, who was from Long Beach, made the film's plot more real. It shows us that the story is not over. There's still gang violence, there's still murder, and there's still intolerance. So here are some fun facts about the film. The film was made on a budget of $21 million, and as a result, the film was a super hit with a gross of $43 million. In 2007, the film won the Humanities Prize Award, and after the making of the film, Patrick Dempsey said he felt underused. Now, he said he only felt this way because he didn't have a big role in the film, and he didn't have as many lines as the rest of the cast members. He also felt that he didn't have a huge impact on the film as he did as the rest of the cast members. I mean, it is understandable to feel that way, but at the end of the day, he did know his role in the movie um, when he read the script before they started filming, so he kind of knew what he signed up for. The plot is carried throughout the movie without having a conventional Hollywood feel and demonstrates real situations that arise in the life of public education. From the portrayal of student-teacher relationship to the capability of a classroom, the film successfully shares the cruel reality of the public education system, systemic racism, and the bliss found in the prosperity of a passionate teacher. So I really like this movie because you know, I did feel like it was very inspirational, but I also feel like it hits very close to home, especially in the present day, because we still see some of the issues that we see in the film. We still see them today. For example, we are still fighting, you know, the police brutality, the racism, the protests, the riots, you know, like all this, those things that we see in the beginning of the film and some parts throughout the film, we still see them today. So it just tells us that there are some things that still haven't changed. In Long Beach, it all comes down to what you look like. It's all about color. If you're Latino or Asian or black, you could get blasted any time you walk out your door. My name is Aaron Guell. Schools are divided into separate tribes. I'm not sitting near him. I can't go back there alone. Man, I know you ain't talking to me. We kill each other over race, pride, and respect. We fight for our America. So what you're saying is, if the Latinos weren't here, or the Cambodians, or the blacks, or the whites, or whoever they are, if they weren't here, everything would be better for you. Lady, stop acting like you're trying to understand our situation. Why don't you explain it to me? We in a war. You're a first-time teacher. You can't make someone want an education. Listen to me, all of you. Stand on the line if you've lost a friend to gang violence. Stand on the line if you've lost more than one friend. Three, four or more. From this moment on, the person you were, that person's turn is over. Everyone has their own story. We're gonna write in these journals. There's no place like this out there for us. I can't go back to the way it used to be. Need you. Nah, man, I can't. Nobody listens to a teenager, and they don't see the wars we fight every day. To the police I don't even know how this then I have gunshots. 
told us we had something to say to people.